Republicans. There are five more primaries today, and in several states, it will be a showdown between the Tea Party and the establishment. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Washington and has the latest. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to you, Harry. Yes, surprisingly interesting election day today. Popular incumbents don't normally face tough primary challenges from folks in their own party, but this is not a normal year. Senator John McCain was the GOP's pick for president two years ago, but today he's defending his Senate seat against conservative former Congressman J.D. Hayworth, whose insurgent campaign forced McCain to spend more than $20 million from his war chest. I proudly stood up for our state and never backed down. Had enough? J.D. Hayworth led the fight against McCain's amnesty bill, wrote the book on securing our border. Also in Arizona, former Vice President Dan Quayle's son, Ben, is trying his hand at the family business, one of 10 Republicans vying to represent the state's third congressional district. In Florida, Congressman Kendrick Meek was considered a shoe-in for his Democratic Senate primary until real estate billionaire Jeff Green came on strong, despite being a former Republican from California. Now they're locked in a nasty war of words. How corrupt is Congressman Kendrick Meek? Profiting off of suffering. Whoever wins will face off against Republican Marco Rubio and Governor Charlie Crist, who left the GOP to become an independent. The reason that so many of these primaries are contentious, anger at Washington is at an all-time high. There's one other primary of note today. Alaska GOP Senator Lisa Murkowski is facing a challenge from a candidate who has the backing of the state's most famous Republican, Sarah Palin. Harry. Nancy Cordes in Washington. Good to see you. Thank you.